Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This time I'm going to show you what's in the box in this kit of PZL P11C from IBG. Um, also, I will show you different variants of this model. There are four on the market. I will compare, try to compare them for you. So, if you are interested in building it, uh, you're gonna have an overview of what you can expect from each version, each variant of this model. Okay? And because, because I already built it, um, I'm quite happy with the outcome. You can see the build video relation from the build on my channel. Uh, but from my perspective and from the perspective of completed build, I will tell you how it goes together, a uh, few downsides of the kit and in my opinion what you need to pay attention to while building it. Also at the end I will tell you why this is the best PZL P11C model in 132nd scale on the market right now. Okay, so let's start. The box is rather small for the 132nd scale with nice box art, three painting versions on the side. and some photo samples of the interior and completed build painted in silver. Inside the first thing I see is nice instruction in color. Photo etched parts together with decal sheet. And five bags with plastic parts. And also one very small frame with a clear windshield. Let's start from the instruction. There is a brief history and a few facts about the aircraft in English and Polish. Inside the first page has pictures of frames with parts. Second page we see a big illustration of the cockpit and suggested colors for it. Below we have the color palette table with colors and its equivalent from different brands. Next to it instrument panel and radio. At the bottom of the page we have the first and second step of the build. The next page contains the steps to build the engine and interior. The interior is very detailed with a lot of photo etched parts so there's a lot of steps describing the build. We start to build the body of the aircraft in step number 22. For the wings we have few options of armament. We can build the model with or without the machine guns in the wings. If we choose to mount the guns uh, we can open the part of the upper wing surface to show the gun and ammunition support inside. Under the wing uh, we can choose three options for the bombs. Uh, we can either have no bombs at all, a uh, bomb rack with one bomb uh, on each wing or two bombs each. Fuselage we can build with hatches opened or closed.
and at the end of the instruction we have painting versions and a brief information about each aircraft in Polish and English at the top of the page. Ok, let's have a look at the parts. The clear windshield looks very good. I do not see any scratches or plastic that has to be polished. On, on A and B sprue we have upper and lower parts for the wings. Looking very detailed. Yeah, you can see the close-up here. Um, it, lo it looks really, really nice. I don't see any uh, you know, plastic residues or flesh that needs to be removed. Mold looks very sharp. Sprue C has mainly parts for the interior. The mold looks very nice and again there are a lot of sharp details on the parts. It looks very good. Sprue H contains part for wheels, machine guns, bombs and a few other small elements. We have two of the same sprues, both marked uh, as H. J holds a very nicely detailed engine. Fuselage halves, uh, fuel tank cover, oil cooler and few small parts that we can find uh, on this sprue. Everything looks absolutely stunning, sharp details, not very much of uh, excess plastic that we'll have to remove after. Um, really really nicely done. Apart from plastic, we have photo etched sheet here with a lot of parts, additional details, which looks quite good, and decals printed by Techmod. Product timeline at scalemates.com shows 
the kit first release in 2020 and the same year another version in Romanian service appeared. This is the same model with three different options for painting in Romanian Air Force schemes. The same year IBG released a limited version with some extras. This version is hard to buy now, but fortunately I have one. Uh, let's see what the ABG added to the kit. The box says there is a pilot figure, metal machine gun barrels and additional markings. Okay, let me quickly remove plastic parts that are the same for all variants. Uh, there is a small box, additional page with the extra items, an A4 format drawing that is not listed on the box. Very nice addition. An additional marking is shown on the separate page. It depicts a pre-war aircraft from 1936. Decals for it are also printed by Techmod and I found them in the same bag where uh, photo etched parts and regular decals are. The mysterious box hides a resin pilot figure and metal gun barrels. The pilot figure is split, the parts for it are split in two plastic bags. Strangely, his hands are packed separately. Maybe the parts are fragile and um, they wanted to prevent damage. The figure itself looks very nice. So, to sum up the list of additional items in this limited version, uh, we have this figure, metal gun barrels, uh, one additional painting version with decals, and an artistic drawing of the aircraft. The last release so far was in 2021 called Rare Birds and Scale Mates says it has new parts. But not only that, um, the difference between this release and the first kit is the painting options. Here IBG added these two options and one more which is an interesting what if in winter camouflage on skis. And Actually, the skis are only new tool, <laughs> new parts uh, in this variant. Okay, I built this model and I love it. The fact that this is a legendary Polish aircraft might affect my judgment a bit. However, I will tell you what I think of the kit and also what was tricky during the build. Let's start from things that are great. Uh, the fit and overall engineering is very good. All comes together nicely and I use very little putty for this build. Details, this I mentioned already a few times, but for such complicated surfaces I think the IBG has done a great job. Details are sharp, parts have none or very little excess plastic. So this is this is again very very nice. Uh, value for the price, I paid around $50 for this kit and I think that is it was very well spent money. Kit gives you all that is needed, three different aircraft variants to choose lots of photo etched parts including seat belts so you're basically all set that's very good and um, another great thing about this about this kit is options that we have 
Uh, apart from the painting versions, you can choose few variants of the armament. I mentioned this earlier and also if you want to open the sides of the fuselage to show the details inside or not. What is not so great? Uh, the first thing is the instruction. I miss guidance on the colors to use for the engine for example and also the precision of the instruction steps. Sometimes I had to go and look at further steps to find a different picture where I see how the part from previous step is placed. During the build I spotted three things I wanted to show you now. I hope it can make your build easier. First is the fuel tank placement in the fuselage. If you follow the instruction like I did, you end up having problem to fit it in. Uh, I had to adjust the part slightly to make it fit, because I placed the cover first and then I tried to fit the fuel tank, but it doesn't fit. So I had to, you know, sand it down a bit and then... Second is the wing fit. Overall it is very nice, but I had to remove pins inside because otherwise I had issues to join two halves of the wing. The last thing to mention is the assembly of shell launchers. They are meant to be placed under the wing, like this. The part has pins, but on the wing surface there are no holes for them. So I had to remove pins and place it based on the picture from the instruction. And that's it when it comes to issues with this model, with the build. I think it's not very much and obviously it's not very hard, not something that can stop you from completing the build. If you want to build this aircraft, I can't recommend better kit in 130 second scale, simply because there is no other kit on the market. Luckily the one and only is very good and I recommend it 100%. It is not the easiest one and because of its complexity I think it is for more advanced modelers. But if you try, I'm sure you will be happy with the build and the final result. If you want to see more, please visit my channel where you can find 4 videos with step-by-step -step build of this model and also one full build where I cut only the most interesting parts of each build and composed all in one video. Also, if you want to support my channel, please subscribe, comment or give me a like. Take care and see you next time.